While you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Now, you don't know your nationality, right? Do you know who you are according to the scripture? Did you know our history is in the Bible? Right. Did you know that? You didn't know that. Give me do the runner. Give me do the runner. Let's go do run 28, verse 15. I'm gonna show you that our history is in the Bible. Right. Now, when I start bringing out the Bible, you let me know if you identify with it. Right. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass if I will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now, you see in that verse, God gave those commandments to Moses. Right, right. He gave them to the children of Israel. He didn't give them to nobody else. That's right. I'm prove that. Give me Deuteronomy 1 and 1. I'm going to show you that he gave those commandments. So you, you see other nations reading the Bible, right? Right. You see Japanese. You see Chinese. You see Caucasians. You understand what I'm saying? You see them reading the Bible. Right. But did you know the Bible wasn't written to them? Right. You didn't know that, did you? Right. I'm going to show it to you. Read. Bring it up. Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. To who? All Israel. To right. who? All Israel. Read. On this side, Jordan. Now, when they was coming over from Egypt, out of the land of Egypt, they passed over the Jordan River. These be the words Moses spoke. Lord, he gave them the law. Right. To Israel. Right. Not to the other nations. Right. To Israel. See. Now, by you being lost and not knowing your nationality and who you are, you don't know who the other nation is. You don't even know who the Israelites is, dude. We're going to show you that you're the Israelites. Do the running. We'd like to do the running. How long have you been to serve? We're going to show you that you're the Israelites. Bring it out. Three. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15 But it shall come to pass Future tense It shall come to pass right. It had come to pass yet But Moses said it shall come to pass Read And thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God What do you think hearken means? Hey. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God What do you think the word hearken means? To hearken What do you think that means? No Listen Exhort. To listen. Exhort. That's right. what that right. means. To listen. Solid. If you are not hearken unto the voice of the Lord, if you are not listen unto the voice. Read. To observe. To do all his commandments. To be paying attention. Right. To be aware. You understand? See. Read. And his statue, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. He right. said, all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee if you will not listen, if you will not listen right. into what Moses was telling you, which was the words of God Moses was giving you, which was the law. Right, right. His laws and statutes. Right. Now, if you didn't listen to that, he said, all these curses going to come against you. Right. Now, what do you think a curse is? That something bad happened to you, right? I'm going to show you what happened to us for not listening to right. what Moses was telling us. Read. Curse shall thou be in the city. Curse shall you be in the city. You think you cursed in the city? Yeah. Why? Because of poverty. Because of drugs. Right. Because of low paying jobs. That's right. False education. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, you curse. Murder. Rape. Prostitution. Right. Right. Slander. Lies. Road dealing. Right. You understand? Yeah, you cursed in the city. Read. And not just this city, anywhere you go where we are at. That's right. You got it throughout the four corners of the world. Right. You see this type of injustice done. Read. And curse shall I be in the field. What field do you think he's talking about? What field were we cursed in? Right. What was we at in the 1800s? The 1600s? The 1400s? Where was we at? Slavery. That's right. We was in slavery. And what were you doing in the field? Right. Get caught. 
That's a curse. Right. That ain't that, that we was not meant to do those things. Right. We yeah. had servants to do those things for us. Right. Jeez. Now we have become That's the right. servants. And all those that was servants have gotten up. That's right. They're right. yeah. higher yeah. than us now. Right. right. You understand? We at the bottom now. Right. Now we picking they cotton. They hate. They gold. They rubber. Bring it they out. sugar cane. Right. Jeez. We in there. We work in a gold mine. That's right. That's what's going on. That's what's going on in the field. Right. We were slain. Right. With yokes of iron upon our neck. You understand what I'm saying? Bring it That's out. That's what was going on. Read. Curse shall be thy basket and thy store. Your basket. What you bring in. You understand? Stuff that you bring in, your basket, your food, your store. Right. Most of our business, we start them up, but they don't last. Right. Why they don't last? We don't even shop with each other. Jeez. And when we do open up a business, we overprice it. Right. Bring it up. We figure, hey, you buy it from the white man, you might as well buy it from me. Right. That's our mentality. Right. So the business goes down real quick. Bring it up. That's what this talking about. Right. Read. Curse shall be thy fruit of thy body. The fruit of your body. What do you think the fruit of your body is? Bring it up. Your children. Your children. The fruit of your body. Right. That's what I'm saying. Curse shall that be. You understand? All these curses shall come upon us. Why? Because we didn't keep the commandments. Right. We didn't keep the commandments of the Lord. We went into sin. That's right. I'm going to give you another curse. Can you identify with these curses? Every time we open up a business, every time we try to start a business, it go under. We right. don't even get the certain grants that other right, people right, get. Right, 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 they're right, not right. even from the house. They're not even from this country. Right. And they get better grants than we do. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Why? Because we curse. Now, let me show you something. Give me 32. Bring it Verse 32. Up. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Read that again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Bring it out. Your sons and your daughters shall be given to another people. Right. Who did that happen to? Yeah. Whose sons and daughters was given to another people, sold to another people? Bring it out. You understand what I'm saying? Jeez. You know anything about history, you know that the slaves were sold. That's right. And their kids were sold. Right. You understand what I'm saying? These are talk. This is talking about us. That's right. Read. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. That's all you can do. That's all you can do is wish and hope and desire to have your kids. Right, right. You understand? That's all you can do. Teach. It's sorrow morning. You saw some of the movies. You understand? When they take the kids away, you see the slave crying and yelling and everything. But they could get their kids back. Right. Why? Read. And there shall be no might in thy hand, the fruit of thy land. There shall be no might in your hand. No might. You didn't have no money to get them back. You right. were a slave. Right. You didn't have no military might. You didn't have no arms. You wasn't a ruler. Right. You understand what I'm saying? You had no strength. Right. No power to get your kids back. All you can do is watch them be sold off. Right. Jeez. And go to different lands. That's Virginia. Right. Alabama, Mississippi. Right. You understand? Wherever they were sold at. All you can do is just look at them. Right. And mourn. Right. And why? It was nothing you could do about it. Right. Why? Because you broke the commandments. You didn't do the commandments. That's, That's right. right. That's why. You didn't do the commandments. So now by you not doing the commandments, you have lost everything. Right. right. Everything you ever owned. That's right. The fruit of thy land. And all thy labor shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up. It don't matter. It don't matter when they freed them and they got their own houses and everything, own land. They had to go back and right. work for the white man. Right, right. right. And what they do? Drug them out of their house, hung them on trees, took their land, took their property, took their cattle, took everything from them. Right. So it was like they was never free, which they never was. Jeez. You understand what I'm saying? And put some of them back into slavery. Right. After they had been free. That's right. It don't matter what you, it don't matter what they did. This was the consequences of breaking God's law. Right. Bring it out. Give me verse 48. We're going to jump down to 48. Now we're going to show you your enemy. Read. Verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. 
and hunger. Question. I got a question for you. The Bible say your enemy. Who do you think that's talking about? It say read it again. Therefore shall I serve thy enemy. Therefore shall you work for your enemy, serve. Therefore shall you work for your enemy. Who do you think that are? Who do you work? Who do we work for now in this country? The white knight! Exactly! That's right. Right. We work for the white people. That's right. And if it ain't them, you see us in the beauty supply stores. We work for the Chinese. Right. We right. work for the Japanese. Right. We work for the Arabs. Right. We work for all our enemies right. that right. had us in captivity. Bring it out! You understand? We work for the white man. That's Three. right. Read. Therefore, shall thou serve thine enemy. And what? Which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. The Lord sent them against you because right. you broke the commandment. That's, That's right. right. Read. And in thirst. And hunger and in thirst. When you get home and you go to Jewel Franchise or you go to Kroger's or you go for Food for Less, you go to Myers, right. you go to Dominic's, who you think own the big franchise? Exactly. Right. You have to serve them even when you hungry. That's right. right. And when you thirsty. Right. right. Who control the water sources? Oh yeah. They control everything. They control the water service. They control where the water come from, right. how you get the water, right. and how it's transported. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Read. And in nakedness. And in nakedness. They own the textile clothes. Right. You might have a few people that make their own clothes, but they own the textile. Right. right. You got to go to their stores. Macy's, Champ, Nike, Puma, Adidas. Right. Leave no. out. You understand what I'm saying? They own all these brands. Even in the 80s, they own all these brands. Right. That's right. Jordan, Calvin Klein. You understand what I'm saying? Right. They own these brands and these textiles. You have to go to them even to clothe your own behind. Read. And in thirst. And in want of all things. And want of all things. Want of all things. What you think that want of all things is? Money. You eat it right on the head. You got to go to them for money. Right. When you go to the bank, you ain't lending to them. They lend it to you. Right. Bring it out. Right. Yes, sir. Give me, sir. Come on, come on, step around. Like I was just telling the brother, when you go to the bank, who lending you the money? Right. Your enemy. Right. Your enemy. You're not lending them nothing. You got to go there for money. Right. And one of all, if you want tissues to wipe your own behind, you got to go to them. Right. Right. You can't wipe your behind without. You understand what I'm saying? Bring it you want education? You gotta go to their school. They gotta teach you. Bring Lies. You understand what I'm saying? When you go to their cemetery schools, all the black people, they got their cemetery rights from them. Right. That's why they teach the same false doctrine. That's right. They have to in order to receive the money. That's right. You understand what I'm saying? These are your enemies. Right. And one of them, even if you're a death certificate. You got to go to them. One of all things, right. whatever you can think of, you have to go to them. Get married, get a degree. Anything you want to do, you have to go to them. Right. I'm sorry, I never meant to hit you, bro. This is Thomas. Oh, funny thing. Um, 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 Malcolm X. He said, we can have the power. Uh-uh, they see it's like they're changing. They're not going to talk. So still, we can get back. How do we... Okay, how do we change? Because even when we try to change, they knock us off. How do we live ourselves up? How do we get out of the situation that we're in? Basically, is what you're asking, right? right? How do we how do we become on top again and not the bottom? I'm going to show you that. Read. First Kings chapter 8, verse 46. Read. If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not. This is Solomon. Solomon saying, if they sin against thee, for there's no man that said it not, right. King Solomon. We all have sinned. Right. And we all have done wickedness. Can right. we agree on that? Right. Okay, read. And thou be angry with him. And the Lord was angry with us because we broke his commandments. That's why he put the curses on us. Right. As you right. can see, all these are the curses. You understand? He was mad at us. 
That's why I say, read it again, thou be angry. And thou be angry with him. And the Lord be angry with us. Read. And deliver them to the enemy so that they carry them away captives. And deliver us to the enemy which they carry us away captive. Did the Lord deliver us to the enemy they carried us away captive? Because we sin. Right. Right or wrong. That's why we sin. But hold on. This is how we get back on top. Read. Unto the land of the enemy, far or near. Those slave ships you see right here went far and they went near. Right. right. You understand what I'm saying? They carried us away captive far and near to different lands. We scattered throughout all the four corners of the world. Bring it up. Some different nationalities. Right. Read. Read. Yet. If they shall bethink themselves. What does bethink themselves mean? He said, yet if they shall bethink themselves. What does bethink themselves mean? Bring it out. To bethink yourself. He said, if, if, okay, now we carry away captive. Right, we carry away captive. He said, now in the land where they will carry away captive, Father, if they begin to bethink themselves, you know what I'm saying? If they begin to remember. Right, right. If they begin to remember, if they begin to think upon the things that. Sis, come on over here. Come on, come on, you got a question? You got a question? If they begin to bethink themselves, you right. understand what I'm saying? Read. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves. Remember themselves. Read. In the land whither they were carried captive. In the land where you was carried captive, you begin to remember who you are. Read. And repent and make supplications unto thee. And repent. Right. Repent. What does repent mean? To change, to ask for forgiveness. If they will repent, if they begin to ask for forgiveness and make supplication, you know what I'm saying? Oh, hardly read. And make supplications unto thee in the land of them that carried them captive, saying, We have sinned. In this land, if you begin to repent and bethink yourself, you begin to remember in this land where you was carried away captive and begin to bethink and remember who you are and repent. Right. Let's see what the Lord is going to do. And have done perversely. We have committed wickedness. Yep. That's and so return unto on, thee on. with all their heart, with all their soul, yeah. in the land of their enemies. You see Bring it out. how people walk past, they don't even ask about the word of God because they don't care. Right. Read. Which led them away captive Read. and pray unto thee towards their land. If you face the east towards Jerusalem, which is our land, you don't say that's where we're from. And then you begin to repent. You begin to pray. Read. Which thou gave it unto their father. Because he gave the land to our father. Right. He gave the land. He promised the land to our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's right. You Please. understand? He promised the land to us. Read. Right. The city which thou hast chosen. Read. And the house which I have built for thy name. Read. Then hear thou their prayer and their supplication in he, heaven. He asked them. Hear the prayers. Hear the prayers. Right. That's when we was gator bait. They used to use black kids and put them by the pond and put them by the river. So the alligator would come out. They would use them like basically like fishing hooks. And so once the alligator lack, lack, latched on to the baby, that's how they would catch them and get their gator shoes and their gator belts. Right. They used to put the baby there, tie, tie a string around, and when they they use them for bait. Bring it up. It's called gator bait. Two ladies do with little black babies. That's right. Look like girls or boys. Right. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Read. Thy dwelling place and maintain their cause. Lord, maintain their cause. The Lord gonna fight for you. When you begin to repent, and when you begin to come into you and be think who you are, you're Israelite according to the scriptures, and you begin to repent, the Lord gonna fight your battle. Right. The Lord gonna set you back on, on, on top. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. 
We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.